Oh, I didn't fix the cameras before we got started. That's fine. There we go. Hi, everybody. Uh, it's been a month. Um, it's been it's been a long time. A lot of things have changed uh, in that time. Uh, by a lot, I mean uh, I got a house. Um, not moved in yet or nothing, but um, yeah, went sale agreed. And apparently, in the Irish market, they'll um. But the banks and all of the inspectors and all that kind of stuff have to step in now and uh, do all that kind of stuff. But that's where I've been for the past couple uh, weeks away. I've been um, finding a house. So now that now I'm back, unfortunately, that meant that a lot of commutes, many hours away from Dublin. Um, but now now we're back. How uh, how are we doing, Jim? How are we doing, Colin? Doing pretty good. good. Yeah, good. Uh, I found uh, super deep brown noise in the meantime and i've been listening to it so it's nice it's this different is, than black noise uh, what tell me more noise, about this this is the second time i've heard the term brown yeah, noise yeah. so it's, it's it doesn't sound good <laughs> what it's not the brown note <laughs> it's like brown it's supposed to be like brownie in motion i guess i don't know okay. it's like a it's like a static noise that isn't as erratic as white noise and like it for me at least when i listen to it it's like oh i can concentrate and do things now like it's it's not like all the little pings of like thing distraction uh they just sort so of like away. audio adhd meds yes okay yeah yeah give it a shot and, and uh, i prefer the, i'm into I prefer it <laughs> warm brown noise uh, or super deep <laughs> have smooth. a moist brown noise yeah yeah, yep, yeah. All right. super yeah, deep this smooth. brown noise has hints of oak and earthy undertones yeah 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 it's the tannin but, uh, count uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right uh Great. brown all right brown noise i'm gonna look yeah. into it yeah check it out <laughs> killer um also uh Let's start a TikTok about it. <laughs> yeah also we've been playing now for <laughs> since 2019 oh yeah yep um, the 27th of last year, or sorry, mm. of 2019 was the first uh, time we made our characters. Uh, mm. And here we are in fucking 2022. Um, uh, <laughs> how do you even explain to our 2019 selves of uh, the next couple of years of <laughs> what's coming? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> how, Christ. How, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, poor babes. <laughs> we were like excited after PAX Unplugged to do this. Yeah. 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 Right, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, that's the last packs I've plugged in with you. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so, oh, wow. Yeah, it's one of those weird things where you think the world's going one way and it, it's no, but it's the other way. Wait. It's the yeah. other way, indeed. All right. Um, so we haven't played for a month, but um, mm -hmm. there are some we are in the year 533 this year. We finished winter phase of 532, and um. I'm going to start with uh, a scene with for Ace Win. Uh The 18-year-old knight, uh, Morgan de Wilsford, seeks to tilt against the mighty Ace Win. You can kind of imagine that she has been waiting around uh, somewhere, you know, like on a bridge or something towards Sorum. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, they've been really eager to fight you. Mm -hmm. um, she has no glory or fame to speak of, but you know her father, Gregon, to be a decent man. Um, will you will you give the satisfaction of a tilt against uh, Morgan here, or will you? Absolutely, absolutely. Nice. Uh, I would like to test hospitality. Um, to be like, I'm 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 going to be a good uh, host here. Uh, we'll use my 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 jousting field right uh and i am not gonna hold back because that would be unworthy of a host so okay so no so i love this so not only so imagine this happened outside of gun it right like again like mm -hmm. towards sorum and you're like i have a better I, i'll do you one better and you come back and like alwena's making a like a breakfast and stuff and you're like yeah. like having a last entree it's like a full yeah. english you know and yeah. you're like, okay and when you're ready we're gonna go out to the tournament field and i'm gonna show you around and like you're giving yeah. them like the full the full tour it's of like how this. long have you been waiting by this bridge you must be starving yeah. come on yeah no gonna, exactly god did you, sure eat yet? did you eat yet <laughs> we're gonna give you some of my lances like oh, yours. exit through the mm -hmm. gift shop at it's, the end yeah yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> okay so absolutely because, that's yeah, yeah i'll let you roll hospitality for that if that's the the, the scene yeah for absolutely. sure absolutely either okay. this night will lose and lose with tales of the magnanimity of of winterborn gunnet or win clothed in the hospitality of the self-same manner yeah so, that's success uh it's only a plus five though because i've got yeah uh, and I assume Lance. Yep. Can you beat a one? Awesome. Yes. <laughs> Technically. All right. Okay. So you give. Yeah. So you 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 win. Um, it's nothing special. Um, she just thanks you for the opportunity. There's not really any mm -hmm. glory to be earned from. You can give yourself five glory for this. It's not a you know. It's not a lot of glory for you, but it's really uh, all the glory is really going to her. She just probably earned herself like fifty to one hundred glory based on this, right? Nice. Tilting against a round table night and having a. a a feast, you know, and all that kind of stuff around. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just see how she handles her. No, she has a real hospitality. She's fine. Oh, um, no, Morgan thanks you obviously for this opportunity. <laughs> it's, it's awesome, and you know, yeah, her squad. Like you just see her, like her, you know, she's like, oh my god, thank you, Ace, when you're, you know, and stuff, and like being very cool with you. And then the minute she goes to her squire, right? Their squires like, <laughs> like, oh my god, and they're just like super happy, you know. There's they're like fans, you know. Yeah. Um, they got a chance to do this. I think also Acewin is like pointedly doing this in front of Archie, being like, you know, you could stand to be out on the tilting field a little yeah, more a little than you more. do. All right. Um, another uh, slight um, time cut. Uh, this is this time Gorthrin. Um, you know, I imagine you you've been you're with Acewin here. Uh, you guys are probably traveling around Sarum, so the scene kind of takes place in the, in the Cross Keys. I imagine uh, Acewin is regaling you the story about Morgan coming over, right, and doing this thing uh, when one of the monks at this Cross Keys uh, tavern um, uh, interrupts you two uh, and says, uh, um, uh, "I'm so glad to see the or like he just has makes an offhand comment that makes you question." Uh, something and he's like ah oh, so i'm glad to see that the uh you know the knights rather than their squires are here this evening i'm referring to uh i believe it's uh kinrain and bloodig yeah right mm -hmm. uh, the masters rather than the servants are in the house today mm. hmm. this is the uh who's this again this is just like a monk. This is there's like a this is the tavern that people would, like squires would drink at and stuff. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just, gotcha. this is like a it's, it's an, a tavern an in somewhere between Salisbury and Silchester, right? Oh yeah, yeah. The one with the keys. Yeah. Yeah, the cross keys. The one that's run cross by keys. the uh, right. the Abbey. All right, I'm, I'm gonna uh, catch up. I look at over at uh I'm like, do all do all the squires hang out when we're not around? Well <laughs> <laughs> huh? They're practically you know, he's like well, they're practically inseparable when they're here. Mm. That's news uh, to us, yeah. Oh. How often are they here? Fortnightly. Fortnightly. Yeah, and you must be very generous with their payments. We are. Uh, we are. And obviously, uh, so, so um, in a way, we are incredibly very thankful for your piety. Yeah, I mean, it sounds mm. like, uh, you know, a compliment. Yeah. Splendid. It's, it's great. Excellent. Yeah. Filing that away for later. <laughs> Questions will yeah. be answered. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ace right. is like, what are they doing? Or they're off time. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, it's. I think Ace was vacillating back and forth between, like, they're squires. Like, what could they do? They're squires. Yeah. <laughs> oh no yeah there's yeah. actually squires what mm. can they do yeah yeah awesome. sounds like wonderful fun they have uh, yeah they're not right cleaning our our armor and yeah tending to the horses and <laughs> you know once yeah, every two right. weeks that's it. yeah so like every so often they come here and they blow a lot of money on drinks and stuff at the at the bar like more yeah. than you like you don't pay them you know like you pay for yeah, their yeah. house and their food they should not have this they have money they're, so somehow they're getting money but they're also mm. like one of them's a Castellan's kid, right? Yeah, yeah, D yeah. Kinrin Duplain. Yeah. So you could call, talk to their parents, or you know, you, there's there's plenty uh, of I things would... you can do, uh, you yeah. know, about coming up with figuring out what the hell's going on, including talking to them directly. 
we're gonna uh, we're gonna start talking with Kinran. That's what that's what Ace one's gonna do. Sure. You want to separate them and have a a <laughs> <laughs> uh, good cop, bad cop. You know, like you know. <laughs> Listen, Bloody yeah. Kinren's already spilling the beans. So that's you know, it's only up to you right, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's up to you. you gotta yeah, you know, it. time to um, prisoners dilemma them. Yeah. Or what do you want? Yeah, no, but what do you, what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Columbo, uh, Kinren. Yeah. And one more thing. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was just gonna like take Kinren next next opportunity that they're casually doing oh. something like. Taking care of the horses or whatever. She's gonna be like, so I saw went to uh the cross keys with Lutheran. I've been to the cross keys. Ah, quite a few times. It's a great little tavern. Yes. Yeah. Fortnightly, I think. Ah, uh, well. <sighs> That's when he kind of realizes something, you know. <laughs> Up from that is uh, yeah, indeed, sir. When you when you know when the nights are free and all all my tasks are done. You now he's like continuing to brush your horse, uh, King's Gift. You know, I wasn't aware raiding their the main stipend that your father gave you. Yeah. Oh well, he sort of clearly is lies to you. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? Like in the way he's like, well, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's a modest thing. It's of course. Yeah. I had plans to bring it up with him next time I see him. Oh, I, I, tomorrow. You, should, you don't need to do that, my leash, please. Why, why wouldn't I do that? Oh, I mean, I, everything isn't talking about money a little bit beneath us knights. Well, from, from aspiring knight to knight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Talking, well, I suppose it's one of those things. I just wanted to make sure your father knew how much of your stipend you were spending down at the cross keys. Oh, well, uh... Uh, so he's feeling the grilling, right? <laughs> he's yeah. he's getting grilled, and so he's gonna confess to you. Uh, it's not all right. I'll, I'll I'll come clean to you. First off, it was Bledig's idea, but second of all, it's just you know, every so often we will take. Um, the Andalusians, you know, when you're in Camelot and the feasting and stuff, and we'll show them off to some of the peasantry and, you know, to, to, to folks and, uh, they'll get to, uh, gasp at how beautiful they are and how, tell them about the services and we ask for donations. You know, it, it was just for beer money and then it got really good beer money. You know, like, I don't, <laughs> honestly, it's got away from us. We don't know what to <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. Apparently, both of them have conspired to sell, uh, you know, access to your horses. Um, not not for like uh, mating or anything like that, or just just to show them off. You've made several poor choices, Kinran. Seriously, huh. I might add, in this conversation alone. Being honest and forthright. Why don't you, why don't you guess which thing I'm angry about first? I didn't cut you in. She's backhand him. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. you are pimping out my horses to the peasantry. You are having them gawk as though our steeds are what? Some spectacle, some festival spectacle, some jack and apes motley. These are, I am so angry. You are. You are cleaning out Archibald's room for the rest of the week. I deserve that. You deserve more than that. No. All the money, all the money that you have remaining from this little enterprise is donated immediately. Not through the cross keys, directly to the monks. Right. That's, that's, that's for the best. Oh, I'm so glad you approve, Kinrin. He's mortified and uh, immediately tries to skulk away and, and rush like, off. The... While you cleaning his room, make sure he's awake. <laughs> I want to. I want to hear what uh, Blood Egg and Gorthrin do. 
yeah, so this is like we're listening to uh, Ace One Squire here. Just spill the beans, just like a a, a dunce, you know. Uh, and uh, first off, like the Gorthron is my just you just go start thinking like, has he seen? Is like now that we know, has there been anything you know that he might have seen that he, at the time he was like, oh, that's no nothing, nothing to note. But in hindsight, it's like. Oh yeah, like about blood, mostly about blood. I, like, is blood had been suspicious or like hiding yeah. something? Or... I think I think that's pretty fair to say. Um, you know, in the last in the last like they've been doing this for like literally like the last year and a half. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was some like you like there were some like kind of weird moments or whatever that you finally put together because like oh wow I'm just walking the horse out my lord you know kind of thing right. Right, yeah, yeah. Like, why are you? Why are nothing you so much as like foals the... going yeah. missing or? or oh yeah, like no, that. yeah, yeah. No, nothing like that. There's no. I'm just gonna just you know. I'm, I'm taking. I don't know if you have a name for the Andalusian, but um, you know, I'm taking so and so out mm. for a walk, right? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. You know, it's good to keep their lungs fresh of the full, full air, right, good right, air. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's why you've been so interested in that. Yeah. Meanwhile, they're taking on like, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I think here, like. The, the the severity of the offense is less than just the the attitude behind it yeah you know it's like oh they showed us they showed off some horses big deal but that they went behind our backs to do this yeah they kept it secret they have been using it to get wasted like those are like what you did was little consequence like let the peasants gawk like you know should they not marvel at the wonders of their age as well kind of thing but th but the way that uh, they went about it and they and the reasons why they did it in the first place are are the real like mm, no nah, that's not gonna fly mm -hmm. uh, and so i don't know like to me that is conduct on becoming a knight uh, you know the the just the sort of the backhandedness of it like if they wanted money to go drinking they just should have asked you know <laughs> it's not like we're not loaded and can't yeah. like give them the, give them some folded money it's some not like coin we haven't money. gotten loaded every once in a while right, right? yeah yeah exactly it's <laughs> far to like, be in a night <laughs> yeah and i can get why they wouldn't want to under our own you know they want to go to a tavern or something where they're not under their master's house that's that's one thing but um going back behind so that's that's where that's where gordon's coming from yeah. Like Bloodig is kind of uh, I don't know if I have any notes for him. Like the squire he is. I think uh I think they were like righteous but greedy or something like yeah, that. Yeah, sounds, sounds about right. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's a good kind of something that's really gonna stick. Like yeah. when we approach Bloodig, what's he like? Like is oh, yeah. he so is he, a, yeah? So here we go. So right. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, yeah. So, uh, Bledig is gregarious but deceitful, and <laughs> Kinrain is stoic but greedy. So you can probably so that's why together uh, they have conspired to create this plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I mean, obviously, Bledig is going to try to talk his way out of this and be like, "Yeah, all right." So first of all, this was entirely Kinrain's idea, right? Mm -hmm. Is it? Yes. Yeah. I mean, he was already doing this on his own, um, and I was operating under the assumption that Acewin had expressly given him approval to do this. Um, I mean, there's a giant flaw in his story here because he never asked you for approval to take yours out. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's like, but I thought everything was above board. Uh, you know what I mean? So like, you, there, there you could definitely poke holes in the way he's saying this, but the way he's talking about it is very convincing. Um, yeah. That he, yeah. he, like, you know, um, if Bledig didn't make it as a knight. He would make a really good theologian. Sure. Yeah. Maybe he'll have you a know. chance. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you want to yeah, say that to him? I think yeah. that um, not just yet. I'll say okay. no. Yeah. I think like Gorthon is just going to follow along. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Certainly. Yeah. You know, oh. I don't recall giving you permission to show off my herd, though. That's something. Well, that, I mean, <laughs> Yes, and I thought it, you know, because such as, yeah. <laughs> you know, you can't really. You, you can just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you find this conduct becoming a knight? I, no, but it's just wanted to. Mm -hmm. It got away from us. Uh, 
It, it, it was getting more popular than we ever imagined. We we just wanted a couple, you know, leave room to just. We just wanted some, you know, uh, some pens to drink. I, uh, we didn't. Yeah, you know, yeah the, deceit often does grow beyond its initial. Uh, uh, <clears throat> if you'd wanted the money, you could have just asked. He's just going to let that sit for a minute, you know, like with all this trouble and everything. And they could have just been like, hey, we're strapped for cash. <laughs> Couldn't, you know, you're like the richest knight in the county. <laughs> Can you give us some? I mean, He's just going to let it sit. You know, Gorthren's known for his generosity, you know. What? Like, you didn't have to go behind my back. Yeah. You didn't have to engage in deceit. How can I trust you again, Lenig? I need to trust you with my life, but I can't even trust you with my horse herd. I didn't think of it that way. Mm. Yeah, like they're obviously contrite, but they're also eighteen-year-olds, yeah. so they like, yeah, yeah, they yeah. like just don't get it. <laughs> you know, they just, they, get, they yeah, just they like they, they, this whole time point. they thought this plan was so good, and they literally did not even think about how this sort of affects you. It worked a while. Worked yeah, a while. exactly. Right. Um, and you know, it's like just and I I would love to know what how you all like they're they're obviously contrite and they're gonna do they're definitely gonna follow along with the punishments as you know whatever they say, but also like. What do you show? Like what? 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 I'm letting you render the just the justice as as you see fit here. This would be like unbecoming of a knight. You could dismiss them. Um, you know, I think and honestly, like their parents will probably understand. <laughs> like, yeah. like, 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 didn't even ask them for money. Like, like they they were they thought they were they were better, right? They thought yeah. they were better than than asking out, and they thought this could like even though they're laundering you know your own reputations and your own horses and stuff like that. They thought that they were being cool, doing it themselves. Yeah, um, yeah. Pride. Looking at my traits, not very forgiving, yeah. but am merciful and just. I don't think of punishment that doesn't fit what they did is, is just. But I think like if they seem to like appreciate the enormity of 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 what like something that was seemingly so small uh how it ended up like i think that's enough to just be like all right well this is the punishment like we're about to go to france right we're gonna go to paris for this uh wedding yeah and bledig is normally my sort of first squire yeah and gwinneby is my my second and i think it's just um you know we're gonna swap places with that so bledig is now my second and uh gwinneby is because gwinneby doesn't yeah. go off and do suspicious shit. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Bled it. So Bled it gets to stay home. Yeah. Nice. That's a yeah. very suitable. It doesn't, doesn't get to go to the party. It doesn't get to go to the thing. And we're going to put one of just whoever, which one of ever the household knights just hates of the most. Yeah. They're going to be in charge. Nice. They get shit. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So cool. Thanks. Thanks, guys. That was that's such a good little, little twist here. Nice. Um, nice. Uh, following that, they're up, having their whole their whole adventure, yeah, brought to an end. <laughs> uh, following that up, um, I I think it's been no, it has been a while, and I don't think I ever introduced them, but I thought I I, I think I mentioned it offhandedly in an episode a couple of them back, where you guys should have some some Irish wards. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't know if I told you about them yet or not, because I but I generated them. I think we just mentioned their presence, not who yeah. They were. All right, uh, Acewin. Uh, your ward's name is Callum. They are uh, righteous but bitter and generous. They are a 10 year old. And while in Winterborn Gunnet, they're very cordial with your family and they seem to be adjusting fine to their new right, circumstances. Righteous but bitter and what? While in Winterborn Gunnet, they've been very cordial with your family. Oh, sorry. Uh, they also are generous. They have, generous. yeah, they're showing signs of generosity. Um, they, yeah, you know, for for being supplanted across to another country, um, they're doing okay in a different family. Um, Gorthrin, I wish I could say the same for yours. Uh, your ward is Aiden, A I D A N. Uh, they are righteous but greedy. Um, and they have uh like the skill they're known for is courtesy. Okay, he's a eleven year old. Um, Aiden is chafing under his newfound family, um, but during his time at Chalderton, 
um, around like, you know, sometime around supper or so, he begins to begrudge you respect and courtesy. And you think that mostly that the, um, I don't know, like bucking, I guess, would be kind of, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, it's kind of over. Um, yeah, right. I can imagine. It's 11's a tough year to, yeah, <laughs> to ripped away from your family and friends and everything. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, but it immediately becomes clear that um, his turn face that afternoon um, was a ploy as a mm. chambermaid wakes you up early in the morning uh, before the chickens uh, that Aiden has run away. Uh, you begin to track him down uh, into the um, what the Collingborn, right? That's the woods uh-huh. nearby. Um, you know, you track him down. Uh, sorry, I guess I'm saying Childerton. So it's tech- it wouldn't be Childerton. It would be the other woods. Um Tills, uh, uh, Tillsbury. Yeah, yeah. Tillshead? Tillshead. Mm-hmm. Um, and what, what's the name of those woods then? It's the, uh, Blakemore. Oh, John or Blakemore, yeah. Yeah. So, sorry, sorry, it's the Blakemore. It's the magical ones. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's gotten into trouble in the woods. Uh, you come across him um, who has stumbled into the home of a fake cat <laughs> called a quiche. Who's not too happy about this boy in his domain. No, I bet not. <laughs> so, what do you do? Um, well, okay, so we know we're dealing with fairy, right? Yeah, like, it's a Keishi. Okay. It's a think. Think of like it's not like a not quite a puma, but yeah. um, like kind of it, yeah, like, kinda like, like a, a a fairy main coon. I think is pretty fair. Sure. Yeah. 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 Um. Well, they will not have any weapons out or anything. No. Um, Come in. Is it the you know? Do, do we see Aiden? Is like, is oh, he around? Well, I think yeah. I think I think you hear like, whoa, nice kitty, yeah, nice, nice kitty, kitty, nice kitty, Not good kitty, anything. very, very, Swords very pretty. Down. Wow, nice, very sharp teeth you have. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Yeah. what a you know? jellical cat you are. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like very much like, oh god, he's like scrambling for like a stick or something like that. He's like backing yeah. away slowly. Clearly, like, it does not notice you as you approach. Yeah, put the stick down. Do not harm the cat. Is oh, what he's gonna say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> immediately, <laughs> immediately, uh, it's shocked. Stick goes in the air. Cat flies off into the woods. You know, uh, it gets away from him. Yeah, uh, and it's just you know, dawn's breaking, and it's just you and him in these woods. You will long for death. It's better than servitude. Is it? Servitude, you will survive, and it will end. Being away from my family? No. This is life of a slave. Yes, in a sense. But when you come of age, you will leave here. You will make your own way into the world, whether back to your family or elsewhere. Then you will be your own master. But not if you die, or not if you are so unruly that we cannot have you when you go and live with someone else, someone who would not treat you as well. Be angry, but do not be stupid. And Gordon's just like giving him the facts, kind of just a like now's a you know. That might be yeah, a good time. Don't be straight. Yeah. Um, he gra- he defiantly grabs a stick and charges at you. There's, there's no attack rolls necessary here. Yeah, you yeah. can just like beat him. You know, he's a kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, a kid. right? Yeah. So like, he just comes at you and he just makes a fool of himself. But he's so so full of you know anger at everything that he can't. Uh, yeah. You know, process it. Sure. Sure. And so you just let him kind of tire himself out. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes that's yeah. what you got to do. I hate you. You don't, you know, and he's just like, I, I hate you so much. I hate your whole family. I curse you, you know, like in these woods this whole time. Um, yeah. But, you know, I do not eventually you. he's too tired. Yeah. I, I think Gorthrin's position is like, he he's the grown up. This yeah. kid can while out all he wants. That's, you know, that Gorthrin is going to remain calm and just like, no, that's you, whatever you feel. That's fine. You're still going to come back. You're still going to live here. You will behave yourself. You know, those are things that will happen. Um, the yeah. sooner you accept it, the better. Uh, 
but he's not gonna be cruel about it or, or vindictive you know yeah yeah he's expecting you to be cruel because that is the image that he has of you right yeah 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 so no, no. Um, Gorthrin's yeah. uh merciful and uh to, you know, yeah like right yeah you know to this 11 year old kid self um it's going to be amazing how much wisdom and uh compassion you have within a year <laughs> you know <laughs> to him uh definitely yeah, not yeah. the other way around right but uh yeah, yeah right so um yeah. and we'll just put people on him just yeah know, as, as long as he proves untrustworthy we're not going to trust him yeah he's not going to be he's not going to be yeah. trustworthy yeah but we'll also but it's also not going to be like um you know not, no for no cruelty uh involved just like no you know as soon as we can trust you things will change but until then you're going to be followed around you're going to be watched but you're not going to be treated poorly you know? yeah that yeah. seems pretty Bring it back. pretty fair yeah I mean, he's 11 well you know it's another matter <laughs> he's <laughs> older we'll see how he does yeah all right cool. Aiden. yeah right he might turn out into one of your best uh bannermen who knows right okay cool um anything you all i'll i've just pushed a bunch of scenes at you all um yeah. anything you all want to do this spring before we go to Easter? just prepping for the trip to uh paris to paris yeah you're going to the big tourney yeah yeah i <clears throat> i think um uh what's his name I think I don't think Acewin would have been thinking about this, but I think Archie is kind of been doing his homework about Paris and wants to like figure out the right styles, the right uh, what's in vogue there, uh, so that winter when Winterborn kind of rolls up, they look right. Sounds good. Yeah. So they want to really show themselves off in Paris. Yes. Yes, and it's exactly the kind of thing that Aeson wouldn't think to do and would be annoyed that uh, that Archie has done so well. <laughs> I love that. Um, I'll tell you what. What if... What if we... Like, we're still going to do a feast, but what if instead of doing the Easter feast in Camelot before the trip, what if we just did a feast in Paris? That's sort of like the tournament mm, before the... That's, that's good. Yeah. yeah. What if we did that instead? Just as a fun little change of pace. I imagine the Easter feast would be slightly more understated than usual with so many people gone to, yeah. to Paris anyway. Yeah. That's kind of... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Um, yeah, I, I, I have in mind that, that Isabel, the queen's cousin, right? Mm -hmm. She's the one getting married to King Mark, or no? No, there's a there's beef between uh, King Anguish and King Mark. Correct. And that that is what Gorthrin is there for specifically is to help keep the peace. So Correct. that's what that's how Gorthrin is preparing. He's making sure he's got you yeah know, the, the backup that he needs, people he trusts. Um, you know, in case that he has to break up a fight between the retinues of two kings. You yeah, know. exactly. Um, uh, Elizabeth is getting married to Lord Philip or Philippe, who's a cousin um, of the French king. Of uh, cousin of, I guess it's King Childebert. Childebert. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, exactly. Um, this goes back to Ireland, but even goes a little mm -hmm. bit further back to Corn between Cornwall and Ireland, right? Um, I'm sure I told you this already before, but um, remember, your your liege lord's dead in Ireland, right? Mm -hmm. Hugo. Yep. He's the Degan uh, Degani family, and the Degani family are like one of the big clans of like northern France and um part of ireland mm -hmm. and uh they also have a bad blood between them and cornwall mm. yeah and so now uh king anguish believes that um king mark of cornwall is the one behind the poisoning of or killing of hugo that's right it's and what it, because it wasn't rodgar right nope 
So you just got to make sure that nothing gets super out of hand. Yeah. And also, in the meantime, there's going to be, um, you're being told that this feast over there is going to be incredible, like Cirque du Soleil shit. Yeah. Uh, with like, apparently they got some Persian elephants. Yes. All right. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. So let me bring you over to a feast map. They call an old font, Master Frodo. <laughs> All right. Our fashion checks and stuff in line. Stuff. And welcome to beautiful Paris. Welcome back to the continent. In a few years. Yeah. Uh, forgive me. I'm getting over. Uh, forgive me. I'm getting over that uh, that cold that seems to be everybody in the world's gotten. That's a crit on fashion. Oh yeah. Yo, finally. Ooh. Yo, Archie coming in uh, clutch. Mm-hmm. Uh, what does that do for appearance? That's plus... Maybe plus five or something? It's plus one for success. I'm actually wondering, is there a special to crit? or is Yeah, you might get uh, a bump, like extra. You can, like double. Crit, uh, two... Oh, that's jewelry. Um... Beasts. Yeah, it Fat. improves fashion, augments your app role by your jewelry. But we don't really do that. Right. <laughs> Which we should. I'm, I do. Honestly, I, yeah. I have been. Yeah, I, I've, been, I've been doing spending Libra for, for jewelry. Oh, okay, good. Uh, yeah. yeah oh, should. so it, it doubles the amount I'd spend. Okay, yeah. so I can do, geez, that would be plus six. Wait a minute. Nice. All right, that's a success. <coughs> All right, so we're both sitting well at the feast. Yep, near the salt. <laughs> Playing Acewin or Archibald? I mean, they're both there. I'm Acewin's still like the primary character. Yeah, yeah I've got Kid Wallace. Technically, was knighted last year, but I don't think we ever really. Archibald's yeah. knighting, getting knighted next year. He's twenty right now. Yeah. Right. <sighs> so this means that, like, Gorthrin, you've been around in Paris a little bit longer than, um, yeah, Acewin, because you were here with the. Um, the lady, the queen's cousin. So you've oh, already yes. been a little familiarized, and you get to show off to other people, being like, "Oh, you know, by the way, you know, you know, bonsoir, bonsoir." So he's got. I got a host card. Host calls for a toast. So I'll play. Ah, those. yes. Nice. Good one to start um, so that, that would be Shilda Bear. Uh, Shilda Bear calling for a toast. Um, and it's probably to his magnificent. Um. The magnificent bride, right? Lady yeah. to to Lady Elizabeth. Um, you know that uh, he probably doesn't rub into. He doesn't. He doesn't want to like, you know, take the piss out of Lord Philip or anything like that. So it's probably like a, just a genuine good toast, right? To, yeah. Um, Lady Isabel, uh, have you you know of of just beauty and grace? Uh, you have. You know, we, we thank you for your safe journeys and escorts to um, our humble town of Paris. You know, as everyone kind of, you know, laughs. Uh, as, you know, everything here is like draped in gold and shit. And, uh... We, we feel sorry to, uh... Leave you trapped in our humble city of Paris. So we have brought you the splendors of the world to you. Uh, you know, for this great feast tournament and that's when like you see like the some folks from like persia and with the elephants and stuff kind of like, come in and mm -hmm. blah 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 and or like maybe after this toast part but yeah yeah so all right so all players posed i got a three so probably a partial success doubt i'll win with a three yeah oh courtesy okay uh ooh, i got good courtesy 
but Oof. I failed. <laughs> right. You don't bait. You don't. There's the king. Yeah. Um, there's Arthur. All right. That doesn't look. All right. So it doesn't look like either of you are going to. Yeah, win. yeah. All right. No, no, no. But it's partial success. Yeah. The mother knight takes it. All right. Okay. So all these all these cards are bangers is the problem. Yeah. Like every single one of these is awesome. Um passing praise, right? This would be great because if the host comes by and compliments the look. And it's like that was the thing we just set up. Uh help needed, right? This is the classic Ace Win is very much uh, into swooping in to protect ladies. Uh, the best weapon, arguing about their favorite weapons. That's just fun. That's just fun. That's, that's just, you know, just talking do, about swords. You know? yeah. yeah, that's like a very <laughs> knightly thing. It's like, oh, we're in Paris, but we're going to all be drawing our swords and comparing tangs. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Chance encounter. That might just be Ace Win going off to fuck her wife. Um, Boasting Knights. This one, I don't remember us ever having this one, actually. Boasting Or having it, like, maybe once, but I really like it because, like, one, I get nothing on a failure. Two, I could get a lot depending on how many Knights I beat. And, like, that has a... That's the a same... One. I love this as a design choice because... The same instinct that would make a knight boast is the same instinct that would make a player choose this risky card, right? It's like the, yeah. the rewards are there and you're like, oh, but I could be, if I get them all, I could be sick. I could get seven geniality in one go if, if I'm up against the most knights and I beat them all. But also <laughs> it could just be like, okay, I got zero, got nothing. Yep. Yeah. I, I literally What's don't know what to choose. <laughs> My orange 15 is the thing. Yeah. Like, I right now I'm to be honest I'm choosing between passing praise or boasting knights, um, and rather than like hold up the game I'm just gonna flip a coin so evens okay. it's gonna be boasting knights, odds passing praise all right okay uh, appearance I have the one geniality so my appearance goes up to nine and I do I still get my my uh, jewelry bonus or is that just for seating arrangements I think it's just for seating. You get your geniality for this. Okay. So you yeah. get a plus one. Nope. Bummer. Yep. But it's a guaranteed one, so like, you know. There you go. Ah, I should have. I should have boasted. I should have boasted. <laughs> my right, my, you that. look. You look as handsome as Lancelot de Locke. <laughs> Where is he, by the way? He's not. He's not going to be here, or is he? No, he's not here. He's uh, tracking down uh, Guinevere's missing uh, jewelry. Oh yeah, 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 that's right. And in, in Wales, set him on. That's not got a favor for you. Yeah, do a solid for the queen. She really thank you for it. Yeah. Oh geez, you really think that? It's way to get over good sisters. Ladies quarrel. Gossip, ladies quarrel. Two ladies are quarreling. Oh, again, how dare, going uh, eh, how dare I? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got Meat with mustard. Okay, classic. Cape on pastries and chips. And roasted pigeon. What is, is cape and pastries and chips. Singing sensation. What is cape and? Let's look this up. That's like a, that's like a, a castrated uh, uh, male chicken. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We always do look that up. Yep. Yeah. And chips. So fries. Yeah. I like a good meat with mustard. Like. Yeah. Yeah. I low key am a bit of a mustard guy. You look at me. You don't. You don't think that I'm a mustardy fellow. No. Oh. But the truth is, you know, I go in for the musts. Yeah, are you a a Dijon boy or? Uh, I I like the tang. Yeah, I, like I like like the yellow mustard. I underrated like the tang of the yellow. Yeah, underrated. Underrated. Hundred you know, percent. 
I, a lot of people, they put the ketchup and the mustard together. I say the sweetness gets in the way of the tag. I do straight mustard, no ketchup. That's, That's just me. That's just me. <laughs> I'm going to go with ladies' quarrel. <laughs> Not, Thanks not interested in the condiment conversation. No, 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 no. Yeah, you guys are the <laughs> mustards, and it's just like, wait, there's some, there's a situation developing over here. Um, I, ha- I got king of the bean. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hive, Hive it indicator in chat mentioned, my grandpa used to say that K-Bon is, it's a rooster that ain't got nothing to crow about. <laughs> nice. Very good. <laughs> that is delicious. the most grandpa used phrase yep. I've ever heard. Hell yeah. Like, uh, delicious. That's amazing. Sorry, I keep we keep cutting you off, Jim. It's your it's card, right. dude. <laughs> it's all right. I know, I'm gonna go with ladies' quarrel. Yeah. Uh, so it's two ladies. Yeah, continue, and this is do your I, card I like, whenever uh, you want. It's you gonna talk continue sorry, with the gonna, mustards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the mustard talk. Ladies are quarreling, and the situation is yeah. coming awkward. Sure. Gotta be gotta be members from the rival entourages. Yeah, like, definitely. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's what I was thinking. You gotta okay, keep so it's yep. just versus arbitrary. There we go. What are the, what's the likelihood of our characters knowing French? Pretty high. To be honest. What are the chances of our characters knowing French well? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. We're actually very like. You may not support what languages yeah. you know. Even. Uh, okay, so I got uh, just wins. Yeah. Okay, so you help I'm settle like... the differences amicably. Plus two two. It does not spill over into a duel. So, so well, I was hoping that it might, but uh, I'll take the die roll. Sorry, there we go. Ladies, this is a feast. This is a wedding. It's not the time to reopen old rules and sell old scores. That's for the tournament. That's what right. the tournament's for. <laughs> There's a time and place for chicanery <laughs> it is exactly what is this the anarchy come on so I was just date to just Gorther just dates himself <laughs> anarchy. all right that's good. good god yeah i know all these people are like 18 19 mm-hmm. they don't even remember yeah. how bad it used to no. be literally growing so, up during the boy king i am i'm starting to get this this uh idea that like this is Ar- the archie is low-key kind of trying to like run the show behind the scenes with the winterborn gunnett family like he's the one who picked out all the jewelry who like chose the outfits he's the one who like tried to get the host attention with the outfit um and now i think he's the one who's pushing ace win to uh you know join this conversation about great deeds and stuff knowing that acewin is infamously modest <laughs> and uh that that modesty is often charming so like i i think archie's that and like this isn't like a machiavellian thing this is archie is about the vibe he he knows he knows vibes he loves vibes and he's trying to keep the vibe rolling so i think i have to roll modest versus proud Modest success, but is proud of greatest? No, proud fails. So modest succeeds. It's five glory. Yep, and it's uh, just that that uh, the effusive praise, you know, that Ace Wind is not comfortable with. She's learned to gracefully deflect and and not talk down her accomplishments, but like not talk up her ego yeah yeah beautiful uh let's see i'm not gonna draw cards this round i'm gonna <gasps> gossip mm. and i'm i'm looking to see um what tomorrow what the what the tournament's gonna bring what people are saying about that um so especially like is is this where uh, this feud is going to get settled out. Like, is that is that what the uh, the houses of King Mark and King Anguish are going to try to do? Because Gordon was like, they wouldn't send me over here if they didn't expect real trouble. You know, that's kind of yeah. his thought. 
that. Hey now. Yo, crit. All right, so um, give yourself uh, 15 glory for it. Um, yeah, so here's what you find out, what's gonna happen, um, and, this how, and here's how you can prevent it. Um, I think you probably are talking to someone from the Degeni family, um, and they're all like, oh man, Anguish is here, you know, he's yeah. such a jerk. Um, yeah, and you know, Mark's gonna, Mark's gonna call him out, and you know, Anguish doesn't have his champion anymore after Sir Marhouse died, so they're just gonna have no one to fight him, and he's gonna have to finally answer for his crimes, this filthy villain, you know, and they're like super happy, and they think this is all like a great plan, and finally God's right, and things are working well for the Degeni family, and revenge for our great, and you know, like you, ser you know, you you serve to him. I have no problem telling yeah. you this, you know, of course. Uh, kind of thing, right? Um, you know how good, how great Hugo was, and how terrible it is that he died. So, you know, this, you know, this the king of Ireland's finally getting what he deserves. So yeah, so they think that they're getting ready to prepare a duel. Yeah, and they think, and they think they got in the bag because again, King English doesn't have a champion. He doesn't have his champion. He died a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Cornwall. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So they think they've got him in a, in a, yeah. in a, uh, in a trap, but they're not like planning anything underhanded. They're just like, we got, this is our time to get him. Yeah. They're not yeah. like going to poison him or. No, you know, no, or they're like that. Oh no, they would never do that. They think they yeah. have to win this fair and square under like, right. you know, a proper duel Nothing under right. God and men, you yeah. know, um, this has to be, it's all done by the book. So that you finally get the, you know, the just that they, the justice that they seek. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So they are planning on it. All right. Yeah. Right. Um, you also like talks about, you know, maybe they also really want more land in Ireland. You know, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm just trying to give you anything else I can give you from this intrigue <laughs> test here, right? Yeah. yeah. In terms of possible motivations and if, if you want to try to scheme or plan something like to stop this from happening the next time, this would be the things yeah. that they want, it, right? It's, my impression is that like it, if it's you know if it's in the tournament if they're fighting in the tournament then it's it's a legit you know it's a legit duel they're not trying something underhanded or there's just yeah. been so much like underhanded stuff going on of like poisonings and people being thrown out of windows and things like that that them just being like no we're gonna call them out and fight them fair and square i yeah. think for gorthron is just like really no no, like, <laughs> oh thank god <laughs> yeah. okay uh, you're just gonna brutalize them face to face Ooh. yeah yeah i mean no, it's a fair fight it's a fair fight but uh <laughs> you're not gonna like wake him up in the middle of the night and stab him and throw his corpse in the midden you know or something like that uh, that's what that's king what anguish is going to answer to his words through force of arms yeah yeah okay uh, well and, uh, right. hey, god be with you <laughs> all right so it's gonna go down We'll see how King Anguish's uh, people. Uh, yeah, they're still an unknown. Okay. So I got three host cards to choose from. Yeah. Honestly, hang on. Can I? Can I ref? Can I reframe that that scene that you had for a second, uh, Gorthrin? I think I know who you're talking to. Yeah. And it's not someone who's braggadocious. Uh, instead, I think it's Sir Tristram. Ooh. Okay. Because Trist, like, because he's the one who's kind of in the middle of all this shit yeah. uh, going on, and he's like, "Man, Gorthon, I have no one to talk to about this. I'm so glad you're around, dude. Like, because you're yeah. such a good guy. Like, look, man, they're gonna keep fighting each other, and like, God, you know, anguish is gonna, you know, and he just like gives you like his his take on this stuff. And he's like, man, yeah. I just feel, and I feel so terrible about killing uh, Sir Morehouse. I feel like I've just only like, prolonged this now and. You know, and he's just, and so instead, you kind of get to connect to Sir Tristram a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 that's a, that's a, a D way of frame it. Just like hopefully he's able to bring this thing to an end that, yeah, that he kind of inadvertently, yeah, has been yeah. involved in. Yeah, and it's a good way to introduce him to eventually the round table and how he can yeah. to you. All right, anyways, sorry, Colin. Awesome. No worries. I say, uh, I think Ace Win uh, has just finished, kind of like um, not boasting about her great deeds and that's when archie steers the host directly into her way 
um, being like, you know, my mother actually is rather recent to the whole, you know, being a being a great lord. So I think you, if you're looking for help on the matter, someone with a fresh perspective like my mother, is certainly to have it. And Ace was just like blank face, like, what the, f- what is, what are you doing? Um, so I'm going to choose Sage Advice. Nice. I roll Intrigue. And again, Your it's 4K. just like Archie is just slightly more comfortable than he probably should be at his age and station. <laughs> Yeah, especially around such prominent folks. Oh, so close. So close to a crit. Uh, I know. The host, all right, so the seeks your counsel about some problems with another lighter, lighter lord. Well, I've, I honestly, it has to be your take about what what's your take on this D- Dagani anguish situation? Uh, uh, well, these things sort of, these sort of things get messy, don't they? But I recall when I was hearing stories about my father that he was the sword of Salisbury in some spat between uh, Salisbury and uh, Silchester. And uh, I've often looked at that and Alder's Gap. <laughs> of the two options, why would you not choose sword of Salisbury as the um, resolution? So as as Cutthroat as these things can be, far better for the champions to belabor one another than the armies. Very fair. So it's, uh, the the kind of advice she gives is like like f- would get it like narrow the scope, like see how who are the absolute essential players to make sure they're the ones who are participating. Well, if the uh, hubbub's all, you know, if the hubbub's correct, King Anguish lacks his champion. So I think it's about as close as it will get to a direct encounter. Aceman's going to think about that. So what is Anguish's relationship generally to Logress? Um, above Logress? Or well, not above because he's like still sworn to Arthur, right? Mm-hmm. But I mean, technically, he's hierarchically more important than you. Um, okay, if that's what you're getting A- at. Ace Wind's going to uh, think about whether the Knight of the Black Waters uh, might be a suitable champion here. Mm. and it's almost purely ideologically just like if no one will stand champion like someone's got it someone's got it i like i i don't have a dog in this hunt but like everyone needs a champion indeed yeah i think i think ace one's gonna consider that i i think this tickles a little bit of her sense of justice not in the sense of like who's right or wrong but in having a fair shake okay well um put a finer point on it you know by the end of the feast the formal uh challenge is laid down uh for the following day okay yeah and that ace when ace when is going to uh would she have to accept it? Like, it, would she have to like run and get changed and come back? And no, like, no. The the okay. It's not going to happen until tomorrow, right? Okay. So yeah. there's plenty of time for someone to you know to find a champion or. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, King Mark will be having his own champion, uh, mm-hmm. fighting, um, Sir Blamore, who's sort of like the head of. I think it's Jagan Jagan County. Yes. Okay.
Um, but yeah, Gorthrin is responsible for making sure that nothing else gets super out of hand between the rest of the parties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, which I think would be the perfect time. Um, how do you stop in the like you know the evening after the feast and then the festivities and stuff like that? Drinking still going on, and you know like. I want to know how Gorthrin can diffuse uh, a tense situation between these two um, groups, right? You just kind of imagine this is not like, you know, King Mark uh, accosting King Anguish or anything like that right now. This is like, you know, a, uh, you know, like a, like a squire of somebody against a uh, man at arms of another guy. You know what I mean? Like, like a lower group of like entourage people are kind of getting at each other. And how do you step in to, um, to stop so, this so part of uh, this know, is on the street is, right this is like just on like a parish yeah. street like you know you just came out of like your tavern or whatever yeah part of gorthrin's sort of deals like you know he's got his his retinue with him um and, and any other members of his uh his mezzanine and like they didn't they they had a good time at the wedding feast but they're not like partying and if they need to roll around like in their in their uh, armor as well, they will so that you know, like every, I'm sure everybody's armed. Everybody's yeah. got knives and swords, but they are walking around like they're ready for uh, a fight. And so, you know, what are they going to do? We're going to roll up with the queen with Queen Guinevere's authority to break them up. And if they strike back, then they are in violation of the queen's direct order to, uh, you know, no bloodshed. Hell yeah. Our, our, that's, how, that's how Gorthrin does it. He's more like Queen's Guard and whoever else is there, he yeah. can, you know, can get his hands on too. Right. I'm a, yeah, uh, yeah. Right. If you're in a fight, you have to get through the Queen's Guard. And if you touch a Queen's yeah, yeah. Guard, you lose that part that you touched. Yeah. Yeah. He's in the full uh, regalia of the office when, yeah. he, when he's doing this. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know, for Guinevere's honor, you're none of you here are fighting for this. Like, yep. Exactly. The duels tomorrow. That would be settled there. Love that. Dude. That'll be That's a good yeah. scene. You like you like put you know, imagine like six dudes, you know, like like yeah. three on you know each side, you're just in the middle of them been like and you just did, like diffuse a situation which is being just yeah. this fucking hulking uh you know magistrate of uh, the queen. Yeah. If, it, if that wasn't gonna work, it would be like you really want to uh shame your lord like this. You yeah. know, like there's that's the other angle, but uh if they but, back uh, down from that, that's good. No, they do because they know, you know, you're if it was if it was someone else of lower stature, like they would yeah, definitely yeah. test it. But no one's testing you. You have no. Yeah. That's you know what I mean. Like that's. It came to be tested. I wish they would. <laughs> I know. And unfortunately, like you're just you know finally uh you know these guys are they they know they know who you are. <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. what I mean. And that's the part where they're like, oh, yeah. I I ain't gonna take him. I ain't gonna take the fucking giant slayer. We're good. <laughs> And the last thing, yeah, you know, Settle down, boys. Yeah, and like very rarely do people get to see you even like angry or tense, right? Yeah. And so when you actually speak with authority and are tense like that, it's it's chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've split a man like you in half. Yeah, <laughs> and not not years ago, like they, last yeah. year, and he was wearing more armor than you, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Go back to your cups. Go back to your dice. Yeah. You know. Yep. Take each other's money. That's fine. Yeah. Take each other's money. Let's keep each other's lives. Yep. For the queen's sake. Love that, dude. Queen's sake. Yep. Sick. There we go. All right. Uh, so, Acewin, let's talk about you and the Knight of Black Waters and um, this duel. Yeah. Um, do you confide in anyone about, like in your entourage or people here about hundred percentions? Archie knows about the Night of Blackwaters. It's it's a I think it is a family thing, and the expectation yeah. is she when she explains it to him is like here's this thing I've worn the Night of the Blackwaters. Um, you know, your grandfather was a nameless knight who knighted Arthur. Like there, we have this thing in our tradition available to us. It requires secrecy, like, and also there might be some magic to it because the knight has shown up when I wasn't wearing the armor. So, like, just be aware. Like, I think God 
has granted us this this family power i don't know yeah. um it's complicated <laughs> yeah it's got no i think i think especially after that like like wait someone th- the night of black waters was here how is that possible it's like oh god must be okay with this this might be our thing um not knowing that it was just karen, karen. um yeah. so anyway and archie archie is definitely going to help her with that with arranging it and making sure that the secrecy is kept and all that good <coughs> mm. okay perfect then um so you describe but what draws you to this case why do you yeah. want to yeah like why would the knight of black waters intervene because someone is, does not have a champion i mean it, it is that simple it's like due process <laughs> it's 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 see it's very unpalatable it'd be it'd be like um you know dispensing arbitrary justice is dispensing with the things that the mechanisms of justice so like yeah yeah, there needs to be a champion and if no one is stepping up to the plate we'll be we'll be that that level leveler the the um balancing these scales Okay. Um, so then I take it then you're going to go to King Anguish and give your services, right? Yes. It, as, yeah. as the Knight of Black Waters, yeah. uh, go to King Anguish and essentially say, like, uh, I'm the Knight of Black Waters. Uh, I ask to represent you yeah. as your champion. Uh, in return, I ask only that if I am defeated, my armor and helmet are not removed, but given over to um shit who would given over mm-hmm. to gorthrim to like take care of in an honorable way because he's the one who's in charge of like security so it doesn't seem suspicious yeah um yeah yeah just be like if you let me maintain my anonymity i will be your champion oh well strange knight i know not who you are but Perhaps on a different day, I would have taken you up on this offer, but there's been another visitor to me this evening before you who has taken the claim of my champion. Sir Tristam. Sir Tristam. The one who slew my last, my former champion. That doesn't seem like best business practices for promotion yeah. to be honest <laughs> and he like, says, Fun. you've come to me to plead for a sense of justice that i shall not have to fight this battle without a champion well tristan mcgrew would agree and he says that this is his sense of justice and is willing to fight in his stead that's that All right thank you but at this time, your your sense is your your need is not warranted. All right. You know the king can't believe that you know the same night that people would step forward for him, you know, in that way. But uh, uh, he's yeah. obviously he's never read a lot of Arthurian literature. Yeah, clearly not. That seems like real common, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah weird. What a rube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, so who's they don't get a lot champion? of. They don't really like get a lot of books over in Ireland. So. Tristam. Tristam or King Anguish for Anguish. He's flipping sides. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that, what I'm that, saying. No, like, yeah, this was, is crazy. Yeah, like, and so that's what. Who's going to be Mark's champion then? Who's going to be King Mark's? Does he have a? Yeah, Blamor. Blamor. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's the son of. Sir Blans, Bo- like Boars, Boars and Bonds, and mm-hmm. I think Blamor is like a cousin or like a son of him or something. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Someone's yeah. someone's kid we know. Yeah, one of one of the Yeah, yeah. It gets yeah. tricky because like there's, Ireland, there's Cornwall, and France are all like the same people, <laughs> like, right. yeah. <laughs> they're, yeah, yeah. but they're all like feuding. 
Mm -hmm. um th again this is all comes from the arthurian part of like i think it's like the vulgate or whatever it's like it's the it's the french guy who was writing this shit so of course like they're more prevalent right and this is when you're like oh well you know also lancelot was really good too you know like this is where like all you get this, this is all part of this stuff rather than the you know strictly king arthur part yeah yeah this is the um cinematic all universe. from uh, Brittany. It's yeah all that stuff from uh, yeah no exactly that's exactly what this is all coming from right yeah um Brittany cornwall to uh, parts of Ireland. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, no. So like the night of the black waters, the is the first one to hear about this. Cause like Tristan came privately to be like, Hey man, um, I know we got bad blood, but, uh, I'll fight for you. Um, you know, I'm willing to die for you because I want to make it right. So a duel's prepared for t the following day. Um, everyone wants to know who Anguish's challengers or, uh, defender is going to be, right? And, uh, that's when, you know, out of the, I imagine this is sort of like, you know, in a giant tourney field, you know, out of the other gate comes, uh, you know, this, this lowly knight that no one really knows much about other than he's the one who slew, uh, King Mark's challenger and uh, Sir Tristram. And that's when everybody is like gasping and being like, what, how did he switch sides? What, didn't he kill the other guy? You know, what is he doing here, right? Yeah. So. This might cause a stir. Yeah. Um, there's a great cinematic fight scene, right? Um, but ultimately Tristan prevails. Um, so Blamor refuses to surrender after being beaten, um, preferring to die uh, than, um, than surrender. Uh, Sir Tristram does not take uh, Sir Blamor's life, though. Um, instead, he, you know, holding the sword to him, um, beseeches the kings here at the feast uh, and, you know, ask for their mercy. And I want to see, I want to hear what you all are doing because obviously he's asking the kings for their mercy, but like, you know, everybody's shouting about stuff. And like, what are, how would you all feel? Right? I mean, the guy refuses to die. Like, he refuses yeah. to surrender in a duel. Does he yeah. deserve to be killed? If, you know, I don't think he deserves to be killed. Like, he might want to die. You know, like, he might, yeah. his pride might prevent him from surrendering. But like he's there in someone else's stead. Yeah. Like, you know, if if it's, if the person if you know if uh, King Mark is like, you know, the fight's over, then he ought to obey his liege. Yeah. It's like I where it, like I think mostly for Gorthra and Gorthra is just looking for uh, you know for someone who like tried to do something hot headed or like this is a moment where tensions could easily spill over. So he's less like trying to get it, get caught up in it than to remain watchful and vigilant is what, is what mm, so you're not. Okay. Yeah. Like this is a moment where somebody could easily be like, you know, uh, you know kill him or, or you know, some yeah. accident could spill over into violence or something like that. For sure. So rather than having an opinion on it, you're like in security mode of like making sure this nothing, nothing weird happens. Yeah, right. yeah, that this this but, some, this ceremonial fight doesn't yeah. break out to a real but, fight. <laughs> but what about Acewin? Like, just like from like a like you know, your what what would Acewin think about this? Right, a duel where the other guy doesn't surrender. Um, if you were in like King Anguish's shoes, would you? Um, would you call for the death of this guy, or would you? It's, force his mercy. Well, first off, it. I think it, for Ace when it goes to the terms of the duel, right? Was this a duel to the death, to the no. blood, to defeat? Um, and so his refusal to surrender. I don't know. Like when you capture a Saxon, they don't always surrender, but you've captured them, you've beat them. And so that is the important part of the challenge to decide who is in the right, whoever won. His yeah. inability to accept that is yeah. immaterial. This was to the blood, right? But basically he's refusing to and was still trying to fight. Tristram subdued him again. 
and yeah. is and it, rather than killing him or anything like that he's saying no he, oh, he shamed himself and he now That's has to live enough. with that shame yeah it's it it'd be like validating his breach of etiquette to kill yeah him. okay so you don't <laughs> All right. Very fair. Very just of you to. Cool. All right. Well, um, King English uh, says to spare the brave opponent, Sir Blamor. And by doing so, uh, Anguish is exonerated for the death of Sir Hugo. Um, the Dugeni flam, uh, fam is obviously not very happy about this. <laughs> um, you know. Uh, they got to figure out something else to do, something else to blame for the death of Hugo then. Right? Um, yeah. The, right. Yeah. The last, the last bit of this is that um, Anguish uh, promises his uh, only daughter, Princess uh, Isolt, to Tristram. Kitty. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> all right oh yeah yeah okay that's the, this is the story i always forgot how it's connected to Arthur. <laughs> dude i'm saying yeah it's just like yeah, one yeah. of those yeah like the tristan mark and stuff like that it's all because of the britney shit yeah. you know some monks over there were really bored and they wrote like the extended universe their own, yeah, they wrote the universe they yeah. wrote lancelot fan fiction yeah. that's what tristan and asold is it's like lancelot fan together. fiction <laughs> Everybody needed their own local hero. So, yeah, of course. Makes perfect sense. Awesome. Cool. Um, then we have the rest of the actual like tournament. Mm -hmm. um, where you everyone's fighting over um, this amazing glass. Like the it's called it's an amazing glass pitcher with matching goblets is what everyone's fighting over with 25 yeah. Libram. Um, but the the event isn't like a regular tourney. Um, it's not going to be a joust followed by a melee or anything like that. Uh, instead, um, the Persian uh, troop that's here um, have issued a... They have their own challenge where um, you all are trying to snag ribbons off of these elephants uh, while they fire blunted arrows at you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah uh that's the um that's gonna Joe, be the challenge are, what kind of horses are we riding are we riding horses that have ever been around elephants probably not <laughs> had, no <laughs> all right uh, so that would be that's half the problem right that's half the problem yeah yeah so, those horses you're like i'm not going near that thing <laughs> yeah exactly so I think the first thing to do, yeah. Um, All right. Okay. Rather than this being like a big formalized thing, yeah, let's just have a couple rolls about this. Um, first off, can you all give me like a horsemanship at like maybe like minus 10? Let's see. And like nobody's having a good time um, upon the first uh, review. Like he's not, no horse wants to stick around here. Yeah, fumble. You f All right, Ace Wind falls off the horse, but you're not the only yeah. one to fall off. All right. all right so you can't Not you you don't you don't fall off with a, a fumble would be like you fall off but instead you're just like you're just trying to steady your horse right yeah. who's just like yeah, he's yeah. trying to like fucking like yeah it's like definitely not ready to go not gonna yeah not yeah. feeling that uh that right. giant animal there go. yeah all right all right so uh each of these ribbons is like six feet long so you know they like you can imagine like there's like six elephants right um yeah. you know the size of a moving truck right like just yeah. elephant sized um red and white banners are just like streaming off these things as they're like moving forward at you um and yeah everyone's trying to control their horses and just literally cannot hold their horses yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. all right cannot do it is there a is there a uh, persian horse about i could ride uh no, I mean you're you're stuck on these horses. Instead, you, on yeah, you just have to roll again. Um, oh, yeah. but this is like the you know the first the first round is basically going to them as like they win with the shock value. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
but there's plenty more fight. Um, go again. Um, you rolled at minus ten last time, right? Horsemanship. Yeah. Now you now roll at minus five. As like you know, things are more in control. Oof, so not close. for you. Oof. Okay. All right, that's not boding well for for either of you. Um, no, no, it's not. All right, all right. So at the end of the day, it's probably the val You know, the the best of this tournament is going to go to um the Persians, but uh, there's still another round. So now you can roll at your regular horsemanship. God damn! Wow, <laughs> your horse does not want to. King's gift <laughs> is going nowhere near this elephant. <laughs> Fuck, man. All right. All right. Well, Gorthron, you yeah, finally uh, are able to um, mount some sort of offensive against him. Yeah. And again, it's not, uh, remind, again, this is not just you two doing this. Like, imagine, yeah, yeah. like, there's maybe, like, 20 knights. Um, there's these six elephants, and it's just a matter of, like, nobody is. And, you Nobody's know, it's, good, yeah. yeah, no one's really go doing this. There's occasionally, like, maybe one person tries to break through, and they get pelted by the, the arrows. It's just, it's really hard to, yeah. Um, but I think one of the cool, game. yeah, one of the, one of the cool things you see though is that like the elephants are well, so well trained that when they're uh, hit with like your blunted lance or whatever, they like lift a hind leg up, like they're wounded. Uh, you know, it's it's out and like you, know, you see like the one or two people who are able to do that. You know, they're like take them down. You know, it's a like very uh, um, row rim, you know, kind of yeah. thing, right? Yes, uh, I want to try to give this a, like. Am I able? With this, with this successful horsemanship, am I able to make an attempt against a ribbon? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I'm giving you the opportunity okay. to try to stag right. for here. All so right. our lances are blunted. I couldn't, like, pierce one with a lance and grab it that yeah. way. No, you just have to snatch it with your hands. All right. Okay. All right. How does um, that go? No, I think it would be more fun if it's through lance. Because the idea is that maybe they're, like, on rings or something like that, and you got to, like, try to get it on a I, ring. And then, then you carry him off on your pennant, you know, like that kind of thing, right? That seems yeah, that what, seems like how the game goes. Like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's like, like get it wrapped up so I can use yeah. the lances like leverage or pull it, even if it doesn't have a, a a sharp tip. Okay. Yeah. So what am I? Is that a uh, just a lance roll? Uh, yeah. So there we go. Lance. Oh, oh yes, the uh, the weapon that Gorthrin is much known for. Hey, there we go. Success. Okay. Well, um, it's fine. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, you're <laughs> you're able to you're able to uh, get out of here at least at, you know at the end of the day with um with one ribbon. Listen, points on the board. You know. Yeah. That's, no, that's exactly. That's yeah. Like we, at least we didn't walk away in a shutout. <laughs> yeah, and um, that's kind of how everyone feels about it, right? Uh, like what is that's a fun game? Yeah. What what's the What's the post locker room kind of you know like what's the interviews about you know you had a tough match and like you guys yeah, yeah. are giving the the post game report right <laughs> like what are you guys saying? Have you ever seen an animal like that? Yeah, I mean, I've fought giants before, yeah. but that creature was <laughs> yeah <laughs> <that> was too <laughs> much. <laughs> yeah. uh, even the smallest bit of warning that that was going to happen would have been muchly appreciated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what a great game. Like, Gorthrin, I think Gorthrin is exhilarated by this, like, new kind of mock combat. Just, you know, it's like, no one's lives are on the line, but there's big beasts, and mm. it requires coordination, and, you know, yeah. I think it's exhilarating. Yeah. Um, and honestly, it's it's all kind of one of the first battles you've ever been of, like, a mock battle with, like, chivalric honor. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think as Gorthrin's entering in his, his middle age, you know, and, and yeah. the rest of his life's like, yeah, kind of had enough bloodshed in my life. You know, this is a kind of combat I can uh, get behind. You know, yeah. it's honorable, still requires skill and you know, bravery and all that kind of good stuff, too. I feel like people have mixed emotions over this, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like there's probably a couple nights. I'm not exactly sure who, um, but they would probably have the opposite approach. They're like, I hated this. Yeah, not because I'm like want to be a bloodthirsty shed or whatever, but like it's not didn't something about it didn't feel right. Yeah, mm. like it's one thing to tilt against someone else, but this felt this this felt a little over the line. Mm. Too much. Uh, yeah, like a like like a game. Yeah, uh, about like a you know conflict as a game, you know, and yeah. in a way that's not 
they're looking yeah. for some combat yeah. is war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah. That, that just in general, like a feel, makes them feel weird about it. It's like, this won't train, like, you know, if, if, if my sword wasn't rebated, I don't think I would have done the same attack, you know, as like, I don't think this trains you for what you need to do. And that, oh, that kind sure. of, you know, and like that kind of thing Ooh. as well. It's like, you're giving, you're giving people this bad impression, like the wrong impression of a fight. We're, we're, we're going to get people killed. Is like what they mm. kind of what they're thinking, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. like this is just that, it's wrong. True. We're that's getting people sure. and we're gonna get people killed, and it just doesn't sit well with me. You know, the the youth, the you know, the youth haven't lived through the you know the anarchy. Like right. you know, this is not you know dozens of battles. Yeah, and, right. Before they were thirty. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like this is just another way that this post Baden Hill millennial generation is just weak and entitled. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What a shame. shame yeah. My head. So. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, maybe next time, uh, you know, we'll just uh, use real weapons. Right. I wouldn't want to have to fight one of those things on the field of battle. <laughs> no, definitely not. Um, so a couple of other things then at this feast. Um, you all are going to gain, at the end of it, 150 glory for being here. Um, basically partaking in this. Um, as well as the you know whatever you you earn from the the feast itself, mm -hmm. um, but also I'm giving you a little extra because that's basically like your Easter glory in there and as well. Okay, um, you all will. Okay, you'll technically owe the Persians um to Libram uh, as mm -hmm. a fee for losing. <laughs> all right, um, which yeah, you weren't told yeah. about before entering it, but that's fine. It's just two Libra. Yeah. Right. What does it cost? Yeah, that's, a, that's the cost of a banana. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh. Out of milk. Yeah. Cool. Um, but Sweet. then the the rest of the year is yours. All right. So we're on the constant? Yeah. You know. What's there do here? Last time we were here, we came as conquerors. Yeah. Right. And like, maybe they're like I'm trying to think of something. Where's that? So at one point, like, Sweetering got sick and they had to like find a monastery somewhere to get medicine for her. And so, like, Gorthron, I think, just wants to like ride around that part of the countryside and just sort of see what yeah. things were like. Just take a, a, a nice uh, leisurely tour through the place. Yeah. See what there is to see. Sure. Um, yeah. How many years ago was it the last time you were here? It's kind of as the. What was the. Uh, 26? Yeah. Uh, Battle of Saucy was 526. Yeah, 526, I think, is when we yeah. arrived in. Siege of Ile de France was 526 as well. So, yeah. Yeah. By 527, we made it into Italy. Yeah. Yeah, so this is like eight years. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Seven years. Oh, yeah. So it has been a while. So, yeah, it's kind of those, it's, it's kind of incredible to come back after, you know, even just a short amount of time relatively mm -hmm. to see like how much things have rebuilt and, you know, the, the old wounds from there have healed over. Yeah. yeah. But like, the only thing left are like, like, like visit the famous sites, go see the things. You know, if there's like, you know, a, a shrine or some sort of local pilgrimage, like he wants to basically have just like a holiday. And if adventure finds him, you know, be ready. But it's more oh, yeah. like just let's go see the stuff. Like you know, like they got a pool somewhere or a weird tree. <laughs> yeah. There, I mean, there's Notre Dame. You know, of course. Yeah, yeah, that, that's for thing, Yeah. Is a downy in town? Yeah, for sure. I think I think I might just uh, drop in for a visit, say hi. Okay. Um, he would be like oh, with some of the Brittany entourage. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
just want to uh, see how his fortunes are, how his lovely wife is doing. I mean, so far, they've been doing pretty well. Um, they've been feeling like they haven't been able to... They... <sighs> All right, you definitely know that they're chafing a little bit because they, they haven't had their, their proper glory down here, right? But they're doing their best mm -hmm. to hide it from you, right? Like, oh, everything's great here, you know, look at these manners and blah, blah, blah. And it's, oh, that's the same, man you know, you can't help but notice like the same number of manners they had last time eight years ago, you know? And so yeah. they haven't really been up to much and stuff like that. They're like, oh, uh, you know. I, to be honest, I Ireland. We've heard such you. good things, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, to be honest, I envy you to have a stable number of manners. <laughs> The influx of all the manners that I've had to deal with has been uh, overwhelming. I've had to take on another squire for, it, to be honest, and uh, young Archie here. It's not even a knight yet, but I already have to have rely on him to administer some of these manners. It's uh, you're much better served keeping things within mm. your purview, Adani. Hmm. Well. Well. Uh... If you if you want, we can always trade. He says, like like half laughing, you know, like ha ha ha. ha. <laughs> uh, there's that sparkling wit that I remember. Uh, it's, been, it's been how many years since I was your squire? Feels like yesterday, to be honest. It's it's funny how certain things survive. The long stretch of time. And you're just like, he's so uncomfortable. Mm hmm you, you just get to I, play with him as a cat like a cat, you know? I warned him. I warned this piece of shit. Yep. They try to get better at it, and you know, they even enter some tournaments here and there, but uh, you're always a, a step ahead of them. Uh, and of course, I am sincerely and effusively nice to his wife. Like, oh yeah, she's a delight. I uh, Acewin sincerely likes her, and like very much is wants to be very careful only to fuck with the husband. Oh yeah, no, that make I mean that makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. God. Yeah, like I think formal invitation for them to visit the Irish manors uh, next time Archie's going over there. Sure. Right. I think uh, the only other thing while we're in and around Paris is I is Paris is a big enough city we could get our armor upgraded, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. You want got you want that pig face bassinet? Yeah, yeah. We get, get the latest continental. Hell yeah. <clears throat> this is this is another thing where I think Archie's the one who thinks to do this. Hmm. Acewin's just like, this is the good armor. This is the good armor I've always worn. And Archie's like, oh, mother. <laughs> it's, look, it's, a, it's the helmet's all wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, quaint. So quaint. You can still see chainmail. Yeah. There, yeah. There we are. And again, I think for Archie, it comes out of the, I, I have, he's got a 19 generous. It's just like, it's in his nature to be like, yeah, I found this good thing. This thing is cool. I, everyone gets it. I'm going to get it for us. I, obviously, I'm using your ma money, mom, but like <laughs> we're outfitting everyone in the latest yeah. style. Hey, great. <laughs> yeah, how much is it? This Because this is partial plate, yeah? This is like the transitional armor. How uh, many correct, yeah. Horses, how many horses does it cost? Yeah, is it more? Yeah. I don't even know if it's. I have to open up the regular PDF. Yeah, I'm not seeing. I've seen like the how much it gives you in the rule book, uh, but not the how much it costs. I don't know. Let's call it uh, 12 Libram. Okay. Sounds good. Is it the cost of a Bachelor Knight? God. Um, but you wanted to go around uh, Paris, right? Yeah, like, yeah. See the places around Paris and, and just, you know, 
within like a day's ride of the the city while the uh, hardware gets upgraded and everybody hobnobs yeah for sure all right um can you roll a d20 for me just a random event table for the city yes all right um you get lost in the stinking alleys and waste the whole <laughs> bloody day <laughs> they said I could get to the river from here. <laughs> You're like you just keep seeing like the no, like Notre Dame, but like every time every side street you go to is just like right. an, a, it's, it's, it's a labyrinth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Because this is like Paris, like way back in the day, right back yeah, where yeah. it got reorganized, right from all the barricades yep. and stuff. So this place is just literally a maze. It's a maze. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm caught in like the the dyer's uh, quarter where it just smells like piss. Yep. It's just a bunch of God. tanners and dyers. <laughs> you know, it's well, this is this is there's a reason I don't visit London often anymore. Oh. <laughs> Very reminiscent. Yeah. Exactly. Huh. Awesome. <laughs> cool. I'll pass out all this on the yeah. way back. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, get that generosity check. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Then um I think on that note we'll probably wrap up um and uh for for today. I might have some more for us to wrap up the rest of 533 next time we play, but then mostly cool. get into 534. Sounds good. But uh y'all are awesome. I'm so happy to be yeah, back playing be this back. game. Yeah, yeah, just forgive so, me. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to be back playing more regularly and also not have this cold. So, not going to lie, yeah. my cold's getting to me a little bit now. So, that's why. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, thanks, y'all. Yeah. Fun right. times. Good, yeah. good to be back. Good session. I know. Felt good to slide back into it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> good stuff. All right, then. Well, we'll take it easy. See you later.